Right, uh, ponies are still used for uh, getting into remote parts of the country where sheep farming is very important and ponies are used for transport where the roads uh, do not go. So, uh, there, and the Icelandic pony is quite small, maybe this high, but it's very strong and sturdy and it can go out in all weathers. This is on the south coast and it's really very, um, a lot of flowers come out in the summertime. It's, it's not very warm, but maybe about 18 degrees on a warm summer's day. But uh, it's pleasant enough and a lot of people go on pony trekking holidays, riding horses uh, over the hills and staying at campsites and mountain huts along the way. Uh, this is actually the site of the original parliament. The first parliament in the world was called the Arting, and it was set up around a thousand years ago. Ten something something, I think, I can't remember exactly, I'm sorry. And it was set up by the Vikings. The Vikings actually migrated from Norway and traveled westward, and they set up a colony in Iceland uh, in the late 10th century, 980, I think, AD. They set up a colony there, and they were the first people to actually form a parliament. And this is, of course, this is not the original parliament building. There was no building as such, but it was a meeting place for all the chiefs that they used to discuss their council matters there. Uh, this is the same place. Uh, this is a volcanic rift, a war which caused by uh, shifting of the Earth's crust. In the winter time, you can see the aurora borealis, the northern lights, which, as you might know, is a display of electromagnetic activity in the stratosphere. And uh, there is a whole book, a friend of mine has a book which is completely filled with photographs of the aurora. Uh, I don't know, it's the only one I've ever seen, which is completely full of aurora pictures. Um, here's just a quiet scene by the water, the sun going down. And uh, late summer, haymaking time. The hay and the sheep all together in the same field. Time for the sheep to be sheared, I think. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, that's, that's uh, Skogafoss. It's the highest waterfall in the country. Beautiful rainbow there. And uh, it's a, what, uh, many people visit that place on their tours around the country. Right, uh, as for wildlife, the puffin is a very funny little bird and it's, uh, it appears actually on stamps and things like that, collector's items and so on. It's about, about 30 centimeters, not even that, 25, 30 centimeters tall. You can get very close to them, they're not afraid. There's one in, in flight, having caught fish. This one is tagged, has a number tag. So it's probably one that the naturalists are keeping an eye on to keep a, a survey of the numbers and the breeding habits. That's the puffin. Uh, I don't know why this map is right at the end, but uh, anyway, this shows you that for a long time there was actually no road between here and here. This road existed only from time to time, but each time they constructed it and built bridges across these rivers, uh, the, the bridges were repeatedly washed away and the roads were flooded. So it was only in recent years that they finally completed that road all the way around the country. 
Um, we used to go on walking tours in, uh, in this area around here and over to Hecla, which is a famous volcano. And uh, it's quite a fascinating place to visit. Oh, yeah, this is the larger map showing the area. There's a lot of detail on this talking about um, historical events which you would learn about if you want to study this fascinating island in more detail. Uh, all right, that's just a general scene of showing the, a, a valley with mountains and clouds over the hills. And another sunset picture here. That's again. Oh, sorry. These people are, are trying to battle their way along a road that's not yet open after the winter snow, so accidents can happen. And there's another, that's an extinct volcano. It's actually the plug of an, an old volcano which no longer erupts. So it's quite safe to stand here. And a uh, lush green valley. All right, well, that was just a quick view of Iceland in case you're interested in going there sometime, you can see me. <laughs> uh, but it's really a very interesting place, particularly if you, uh, if you like geography and geology and wildlife. My photo taken now, so I'm Okay, thank you very much.